friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today I thought it'd be fun to cozy up with a festive drink and talk about all of the Christmas decorating ideas that I have going on in my head right now as I start to plan out each room and decorating for Christmas. So I'm so excited because this year we have lived in our house for almost exactly a year and we're much more settled. We're not moving like we were last year. And last year, right before we moved into our house, we got a phone call about our daughter who we adopted. We had literally 13 days to prepare. And shortly after we brought her into our family, we moved into this house. So it was a bit of a blur. I decorated, I think the second week of December, which is really not like me. Usually I'm like reared up, ready to go. So this is kind of my first year in our new home, getting to really think things out and take my time with decorating. And I am so excited, let me tell you. So I have my phone here. I have a Pinterest board of styles that I've been loving, things that I've been looking for while I'm out shopping. So I hope this video brings you tons of Christmas decorating inspiration. If nothing else, it's like sitting down with a girlfriend over coffee and talking about Christmas decor. So I've actually been texting two different friends this morning and we've been talking about Christmas decor and showing what we've got, styling different pieces, and we're gonna go shopping together on Monday. So I'm so excited for that. And Starbucks did come out with their holiday drinks today. So I went and grabbed some groceries real quick this morning after school drop off and went by and got a sugar cookie latte. So they also had another one that I texted to my sister-in-law because it sounded like something she would like. Let me see what it was called. It was the gingerbread oat milk chai. That sounds so good. So that one was an ice drink. You probably could get it hot as well, but I want to try that one out next, but this has been really good. I have had to reheat it a few times because I've been filming different videos all day. So if you haven't watched this shop with me videos, I have one up already and I've got lots more coming. Super exciting. I love taking you guys in the store with me and going shopping together. And I always show only my favorite finds when I'm there. And then I always show a little haul of what I've picked up. If you see some of the stuff behind me. Some of these have been in my recent videos. So anyways, I'm going to pull up my Christmas 2023 Pinterest board, but this is something I can always go back to when I'm out shopping and I'm looking for things or I'm going through my decor. So with having more time this year, I really want to make more DIY projects and have that handmade feel in our home. So I'm so excited to be partnering with Cricut on today's video. You guys know I love my Cricut machine. I had a Cricut machine way back in college and I actually had a little t-shirt business that I did for a couple of years, I think, and I did all of it on my Cricut machine. I have been able to upgrade to a few different Cricuts over the years and they are always looking for ways to improve, new materials to cut, different ideas. The sky is truly the limit. So if you are wanting to do some DIY projects this holiday season, maybe gift yourself a Cricut machine. It'd be an awesome gift to give someone as well who likes to do crafty things. You can make everything from cards to ornaments. You can decorate a cup. You can make t-shirts. You can make personalized gift tags. So used it to make stocking tags one year with our names on it. So that was really fun. So I have the Cricut Joy, which I love. And I also have the Cricut Maker 3. And I love that Cricut has their own design space where you can design your projects it's very user friendly. You can pick out different fonts. They also have already made projects ready to go if you want to choose something that they have in their system. And then it'll walk you step by step how many layers you need to have. And then you'll be able to cut out your project and then transfer it onto whatever you're making. For today's project, I wanted to make this cup a little more Christmassy. I might give this away as a gift, but I thought it would be fun to add some snowflakes to. So I opened up Cricut Design Space and I searched snowflake in the free designs and I found a few different patterns and I just arranged them not perfectly, but just scattered throughout the measurements of the cup. Next, I'm gonna use my permanent glossy vinyl and transfer tape, and I'll also use my Cricut mat. And I have out my Cricut maker. So first, I'm going to cut my vinyl to the size that I will need for my snowflake design, and I'll place it on my mat. 
Then I will send the project over to my Cricut Maker and I will let it do its thing. It will cut everything out for me. I just tell it what material I'm using. You can also choose a fast mode, which is really nice and it's connected through Bluetooth to my computer. After the design is done, I take it off the mat and then I use this tool to weed off the rest of the vinyl that I won't be using for this project. And you can see the little snowflakes are still stuck onto the paper, which is what you want. After this is finished, we're going to cut a piece of transfer tape to match, and then I will lay that on top of the snowflakes, and I'll press down on them. I also have this handy tool. What's great about Cricut is you can get an entire bundle of items with your machine, so you will have everything you need for your projects. You can get vinyl and all these tools. And then after I press the snowflakes on, I just peeled this off and then I just put it on top of the cup, rubbed on the snowflakes, and then I was able to peel the vinyl back. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I didn't do them all individually, but I wanted to do this one because I lost the clip of showing the entire cup, but it's super simple. You just press it on, rub it down, and then you peel it back. It's very easy to do and I love that it's super customizable. So here's what the cup looks like. I think this would be so cute once you fill it with like an iced coffee. It would also be a really cute teacher's gift or a secret Santa. You could fill it with lots of different things, but I had these Hershey Kiss candy canes on hand, so I decided to add this to the cup, and I thought that was a neat little idea. I'll probably do this for Brooks's teacher this year for Christmas, so lots of different ways you can use your Cricut machine. I'll be sure to link the Cricut Maker machine down below in the description box, but thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So anyways, back to Christmas planning. This year, I am planning on doing lots of Real Touch greenery. I want to have lots of greenery on my mantle. I also have a really large mirror in our entryway. I got it at a yard sale for $5 and it's huge. It's such a nice heavy mirror, but I don't love the color of it and it did have a few dents in it. So I'm planning on using rub and buff on it to match my decor and then I want to hang lots of greenery on it and I have a few different pins saved for the greenery or I may even do a couple of wreaths on it. So I'm wanting to add greenery to places like that on console tables, on all of the fireplace mantles that I have. And I also wanted to add real touch greenery to my window in the kitchen. Last year I didn't do that and I really want to dress it up this year. So I have a few different strands of garland that I'm going to put up and I also have some gold bells I'm going to layer with it. And then my mom and I talked about making some dried oranges to make garland with. So I think I'm going to add that to the window as well. I'm also adding in lots of gold touches. Um, I have this little gold reindeer that I had on my console table and I just want to add little touches of gold here and there. I think that's really cute. I love the gold bells. Those are beautiful. I had a few last year and I've picked up a few more this year. I think they're beautiful on fireplace mantles. They're also beautiful stuck in baskets or on a door. The possibilities are endless. So I have grabbed several different style of those. I also want to DIY some ornaments that look like mercury glass because I cannot use real glass this year with having a one-year-old. So I want to use plastic ornaments and make them look like glass. So I'll be sure to share that DIY if I do. I also love Christmas trees and crocs. That's something that I've really been drawn to. I also love the crock bowls in the kitchen and sticking ornaments or pine cones in it with ribbon. I think that is beautiful. So I'm planning on doing that in the kitchen. And I want to add velvet ribbon or kind of that chiffon frayed ribbon everywhere in the house here and there. I want to add it to anywhere I put greenery. I think just tying a little bow is so cute and simple and it looks styled, but it's just very simple and it kind of creates a cohesive look throughout your home. Another thing I'm planning on doing is using all of the vintage frames that I have already and going on Etsy and looking up vintage Christmas prints and getting them printed out at Walgreens. I also think incorporating baskets into your decor is really cute. So I have a stack of baskets, all different kinds and styles and sizes, and I'm going to place those around the house with greenery and again, maybe some bells 
or even some ribbon. I think baskets are a great way to decorate too and it's neutral but adds a little bit of texture. Love this gingerbread cookie jar from Pottery Barn but I don't want to spend the money on it so I'm looking at home goods and keeping an eye out for something similar but I think that that look would be beautiful in a kitchen. I also have invested in some candlesticks that have the flameless candles that are like more of the tapered style so I'm excited about those. I think I will be more apt to turn them on versus lighting a candle so I'm planning on incorporating those throughout the house as well and that's really the main theme lots of golds lots of greens pops of red and green and browns with my ribbons and ornaments and just keeping it very classy I did incorporate more dark brown as you can see in this blanket behind me and I'm also using a lot of pine cones so I'm bringing in that dark brown as well as the greenery and I think that'll be a nice contrast I guess the overall theme is just a cozy Christmas collected feel. I don't want anything to be too matchy matchy, but I've got lots of open shelves in our living room and our kitchen that I cannot wait to style. We also have our hutch in the dining room that I'm excited to put some wreaths on and also put our little Christmas village up on. So very excited for that. And I'm putting Christmas trees up in our bedroom. Brooks already has his room decorated. I let him do whatever he wants in his room and he has more traditional bright red, so cute and cozy in there. And then for Breland's room, I put up a tree in her room and since her colors are more mauvey pinks, I've stuck with that theme and it is darling. So I'll be sure to do a home tour and include their rooms as well. So I hope this gave you some inspiration. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified when I post new videos. I will also link my Christmas 2023 playlist down below so you can check out all the other videos that I posted so far. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye friends. Making our Christmas memories.